Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Strongest Warrior. Kid Buu event is back. Good news if you have him, you can do up his card awakening level. If you don't have him, here's a chance to obtain him. Pretty simple, every 24 hours log on, use that key there for free, and you can obtain him eventually. Alright, so in other news, I had to uh, bypass to 110. I was going to wait till I hit 1 million combat, but I got this new pet, and the only way to level him up is to go past 110. As you probably know, during this event I tried and tried to pull to get a good uh, level 90 pet, and I finally did, and it's Oolong. Just grabbing all the stuff from the daily logins, and this is pet experience that I've got here that I'm going to have to use on him, because I think at the moment he's only like level 50 something, no he's level 60. But he is capable of taking the books to fill these, so every time I get a level form, I'll use it, absorb it into him, unlock one of them slots, and then add a book into it. And each one of the books does a uh, PvE passive stat. So for instance, like the shield is defense, this is uh, obviously damage, and you've got like, things like critical, poison, blah blah heaps of stuff the books can do. So it's good to have a pet that can have all of them unlocked and use them. I'm just doing the uh, 110 daily equipment mission, I think is what you call it. It's the gear you need to make the gear. You'll have to excuse my voice, I've got a sore throat at the moment. But yeah, from what I remember about doing this the first time, you verse um, all of Cell's dunes, and you move on, you verse Angle 18 and then 17, and then yourself. Also, you probably noticed, um, you can no longer get them things from doing the training for the event to purchase stuff, however, if you have any left over, you can still use them to purchase the last remainder of stuff that's been resetting every day. And there's also a new part of the event that requires you to do every last possible mission for the day and then you unlock the puzzle piece and if you get all five puzzle pieces for five consecutive days it will give you a good summons key as well as um, I think it was 60 upgrade souls and there's something that's a gold box of something I can't remember right now but that's going to be extremely handy. Man, I'm blitzing through this considering I only just leveled up. I haven't even got my equipment yet. I'll tell you, Android uh, 16 is so much stronger than I ever thought. In fact, after we do this, I'll run a PvP real quick and show you what I mean. Because so I think my base combat power at the moment is 850 something. And I can burst one millions and still win. I think um, the most of us was one million four hundred and still won. And I think that's mostly because the card awakening level also does your stats like health and damage and etc etc. So because I've been constantly doing that for all of these characters, they just seem to be a lot stronger than they should be. I've also got my gem section up to level 9, and um, we're on our way to get the strength up to level 9. I just have to get the rest of the uh, battle suit scrolls to level 80. And I've been fortunate enough that the uh, family I've chosen does the family party every single day, and it all comes on and like does the bingo and the trivia, as well as the mission that's available in that area at that time. And uh, usually goes to Namek afterwards to defeat bosses, and that also gives you training tokens. And then I'm using that to upgrade the passive in the family area, as well as the battle spell from the store of the family currency. The only annoying thing is it's like 10-15 at night for me when I have to jump on, but I have no idea what it'd be for other countries to me. But you can see the, uh, the schedule, see that button that's shining uh, next to the map there? If you click on that, you can read the schedule if you can translate it. And that one of them will say family party. Wow, well, this is a lot easier than I thought. Cell is almost done, and he is down. 
Uh, now I'm gonna jump into PvP real quick and just show you what I mean. Uh, so I think here we got Super Saiyan Goku 3. He's at 1 million combat power. I'm at 850. And right here, he's doing a lot of damage to 16. But he's able to just power through it and overcome it and put out more damage. But I mean, like, most other characters at this point, taking this much damage, they would be dead. 16 is essentially a sponge of damage, and he can put out a decent amount of damage and a great amount of damage to be special. As well as he can just constantly keep flicking out more damage. With that, uh, when you shoot your fist, he gets a damage buff. And <laughs> here we have 19 versus Piccolo. And this is how you make a Piccolo look completely stupid. You just step out of the way of all of its AOE damage. Go around it. And th then he's pretty useless when he strikes to be on the fight. He hasn't got much damage besides his own. Um, He's like dash attack and he dashes past you and kicks you. Know, I don't know what that's called. But who is called a dash attack? So beyond that, he does like very, very little damage. And believe it or not, you can actually do the same thing with Kid Buu. If you can manage to, when he drives you, to suck you when you get health, dodge forward, he won't damage you whatsoever. And then he's actually pretty useless beyond that. Like, he'll knock you around a bit, but he's not going to do a great deal of damage. The only thing you can really do is heal. And this is the tough one here. This is, um, 1,400 combat and grade 18. And unfortunately, Piccolo just doesn't have great health. Like, he has good damage. Terrible health. Kind of like, um, Super Saiyan Vegeta. He has massive critical damage, but little to no health. So you got to keep moving, and... For Piccolo, you just get to keep stunning. That's all you really can do with him. Because beyond that, his special ability does have a burn effect, which makes it great. But beyond that, he's slow. Not much damage. And just pretty much does AoE and stun. That's, that's it. Oh uh, yeah, and I'm expecting they're going to nerf Gotenks soon. Like they did to uh, Super Saiyan Kid Gohan. Purely because they brought out the Vegeta Blue and Super Saiyan God Goku. I mean, like, they seem to do that when they bring out new characters. They'll just debuff other ones. Anyway, that's all we got time for. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. All that good stuff.